Hello and welcome everyone to a new series of Age of Wonders. Uh, this is Zorchi here and today I'll be uh, making a new series where I am gonna play a Tigran Rogue. And yeah, I'll just show you all of the settings that I have uh, set. So I'm gonna play against four Emperor opponents again. Um, I'm gonna go into advanced. Let's see. I think all of this is fine. The only thing I wanted to see if I can increase that is um, if I can make the, the units a little bit tougher. Um, from units, let's just go next. Maybe it's, I, I think it might be in advanced. So they're all in, in the other team. Let's see, advanced rules. Um, game speed normal, defender strength is strong. So I'll just put this on strong. So from what I've seen um, is that, uh, and from what I've heard from other people as well uh, that play the game is that if, if you put it on very strong, the AI can't really deal with that and they'll just throw their units at the enemy and not really, and take a lot of losses pretty early on. And because of that, they don't start, they don't grow as much as they possibly can. So I'll just put this on strong, uh, just so it's a little bit more difficult for me because my my starting army is a little bit uh, um, is a little bit worse than the enemies, and this way I can also um, it's a little bit more challenging for me in the end. At least that's the idea. Uh, let's go with that. Let's see. Um, I think this is all fine. This is fine. Yep. I think that should be all right. Let's go to uh, this and I've prepared this rogue right here. Uh, it's a Tigran rogue. Um, I kind of like this combination. I've seen a friend of mine play with it and it looked really fun. Um, it's, uh, it's a combination that I think works really well together. So the, uh, the rogue abilities rely a lot on and stabbing people in the back and the Tigrans have a lot of movement so you can make use of the movement to get a lot of flanking attacks going for yourself um, also the chariot uh, has uh, lots of ways to turn around like has the, the the spear that they can throw and with that you can also get a lot of flanking attacks going um, I'm also going to play with Shadowborn Master, Shadowborn Adept and Expander uh, so Shadowborn Master, Shadowborn Adept is just so there's several good things in there good good abilities in there one of them uh, um, being that uh, 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 units, units that you produce in your cities have lifesteal and uh, i think that works really well with the amount of melee units that we're going to make uh, additionally um, all of you all of our units are going to be a little bit cheaper as well so pikeman infantry and cavalry and archer units I'll probably not make a lot of archer units, but cavalry and uh, pikeman units I'm definitely going to use. Um, and what is even more interesting is that once we have access to the fallen angel, uh, they can actually use a petrify ability. And since we have a backstab that is um, that can potentially become really, really handy for us as well. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's generate this world and let's go. Shadow Stalker, Tigran Rogue. What do we start with? A decent army, not the greatest, not the worst. Uh, I would just say decent. Uh, we got at least we at least got a Tigran Songroad. I really like those units. Um, the nice thing about these things is that they have Guard Breaker, so they can really. Uh, uh, um, punch through the enemy guards really easily um, let's see what is gonna join us a rogue yeah I think I want another type of hero I would rather find uh, I would rather like to find some um, some type of healing uh, uh, unit and yeah they, the Tigrans do have fast healing so they regenerate a little bit of HP each turn um, or was that was that the other ability? 
Oh no, I think there might have been another race. I I mean I, I think I'm mistaken there. Uh, because these don't have it, so you know, that's uh that's kind of a dead giveaway. So yeah, we kind of need some healing to, to go along with that. So I would I would rather find I would rather like to find a um what's it called? A uh, a theocrat or a um or an archdruid or something like that. More like I would rather mm, I'd rather want a theocrat than a archdruid though. So let's uh, start scouting around with these uh, cheetahs. Let's go over here. How much movement do you still have? So 19. So let's see. I can scout a little bit out in this direction still. I can do one more. And then I'm going to head back and hit these haze berries. And start scouting out in this direction. I didn't see too much interesting stuff there. Okay, well, there was some more uh, interesting stuff. Uh, that looks like another city of mine, so I will start going there with another one of my cheetahs, but let's first see what, what is around us. Um, I kind of want all hands on deck on, on this battle right here, uh, because like I said, I set defender strength to a little bit stronger than usual, so I kind of want to want to be a little bit more careful than I would usually be with even these relatively uh, uh, easy battles. So yeah, let's get right into it. Hmm. Okay, so we kind of want to want to uh, uh, be careful here because um, these flamers can do a lot of AOE damage um, so I kind of want to spread out a little bit uh, not let them get too many attacks off on me and I think I just want to put my pikemen up here in defense mode and then come around this way with the with the saber tooth chariot and keep these guys back here somewhere. So now I've, I've spread out pretty much. Um, there's nothing really that the enemy can, can attack really easily except for my sun guard, but they have a lot of fire fire protection. So I'm not too afraid of, of, of that thing dying. Um, let's take one, take a st another step backwards. If they want to go for my, for my leader here, actually, no, let's, let's just prevent them from, from going for my leader as well. Um, and then let's, Get that one one step back as well. So let's just take it really, really slowly here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine as well. Okay. So now the damage is starting to rack up a little bit. So I kind of want to be a little bit careful at least. So what I definitely want to do is start hitting these um, uh, draconian raptors with my uh, pikemen. Just because the pikemen are good against that. And let's see, what else do I want to do? So I want to engage these flamers right here. I won't be able to do a lot of damage to them with my with my mystic, but I can transform into a Were panther and then I can pound set them. Let's see, something like that. And then they turn around and I can just uh, attack them from behind with my cheetah. I think I might just pounce at, at these guys as well. Let's see, how can I do this most efficiently? So we can't really, yeah, I think we can kill the Raptor here. And I think once we kill the Raptor, uh, we should be able to deal with this hatchling right here as well. So this might already kill. So let's go stand over here. Is this more damage or less damage? Uh, 9 to 13. Uh, 9 to 13. So it's it's exactly the same. So let's start sh shooting this. He will, he will still be able to get a fire spit off, but it won't kill my, my saber tooth chariot. Um, and I want to engage this uh, this thing right here, this hatchling. So I'll just go stand over, right over there. 
that's fine, that's fine. So yeah, not too much to worry about there. Just want to level my leader here. Uh, I think leveling a leader up is always a good idea, um, especially early on. And here I can just come around, flank once, and who is going to get the experience? I really want my chariot to level. And let's get some experience right there. Good. Good stuff. Okay, we took a little bit of damage there. I don't think it should matter too much, uh, but and I am definitely going to send out one of my one of my things right there. And also on the next turn, they're going to go over here and start uh, to um, start to uh, look at uh, to start to make friends with that city already. Uh, we see a bandit camp over here. Uh, some scoundrels in there. Um, they can definitely mess us up pretty uh, uh, early on, so we kind of want to be a little bit careful, uh, especially because we're banged up already. And with these guys, I'm just going to move around a little bit. I think I might see some scrolls of knowledge there, eh? What is that? Oh no, it's another it's another cartographer, cartographer's tent. There's another city over there. So, getting scrolls of knowledge early, I, I, I always really like that. Um, so, I'm going to try to get uh, to this scrolls of knowledge right there. And try and get those. Uh, let's see. Treasure rating is nice. Hmm. What, what kind of spells did we, did we get, by the way? Uh, Grimby Crows, that's nice. Corpse looting is a very, very good ability. Um... I think I'm gonna go for corpse looting first here. Uh, getting getting more gold is always gonna be nice because that means that we can do more upgrades. More upgrades means better better units um, and easier fights. So yeah, let's do that. We don't need that just yet. Seed of distress is also not something that we need desperately. Um, So that is also going to be more gold. Let's see. What do we what do we want for now? I think the first thing I'm going to do is get uh, um, a little bit more casting points. Um, more casting points means that we can get Grimby crows and everything a little bit quicker. And I definitely want some some crows out early. Uh, we have some gold here. We have some mana here. We have some gold here. So we would like to get some more growth and I would like to get uh, out this builder's hall as well. Let's see, what what kind of production do we have? 29, obviously 29, <laughs> that's that's really unfortunate. So if we had if we had 30, then this, then this builder's hall would reduce this uh, um, uh, storehouse to, um, to only two turns, but since, this since we only have 29, uh, this is still gonna take three turns, unfortunately. Let's see. I still think getting a builders out uh, out early is going to be nice because that will increase the amount of stuff that we can get. Um, how do we get there? I think we have to move through the mountains or t through these mountains, but I don't know if there's a path there yet. So let's just keep you guys there and I'll end my turn for now. So since I'm in the top corner of the map, they might be all they are probably gonna be somewhere in the bottom corner of the map. Um, okay, new hero, warlord. Also not something that I'm gonna be looking for, so I'm gonna require yet another hero. Uh, you guys are gonna go or you're gonna go over here. And then what am I gonna do with these guys? Man, that's that's a really strongly defended structure. Oof. So let's let's scout over with this guy over here to see if we can get around those mountains. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, a heart of the volcano. That's nice. So that's really nice to find early on. Um, so that removes all terrain penalties that we might have on volcanic terrain. I don't think we have any. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's not. We don't have that. But that is nice. Okay, with this guy, I'm just gonna make friends with this city right here, or at least 
maybe I'll go to war with him. Because we're we have evil alignment, so we might as well go to war with them. Mm. Yeah, I think I might do the same with this city actually. So I kind of just want to go over here, eh? So let's just try and do that as fast as possible. Um, just get to the scrolls of knowledge. I think that's that's going to be our, our our main focus right now. Uh, at that time, our corpse looting is also going to be um, going to be finished, so we're going to get a little bit extra stuff there. This is going to be a tough battle, though, because the phantasm warriors they have a lot of physical protection, and most of our damage is currently physical. Well, okay. Well, I'll I'll, I'll take it, I guess. I don't have any other choice. The Necromancer is not too bad to have, but it's not necessarily the hero that we would like to have. Um, that's for sure. A Necromancer can be really good though. Oh, it already has Throw Curse. That's nice. Um, and this uh, Black Balls is going to be really effective against their uh, against these uh, Phantasm Warriors. So that's nice. Uh, let's cast this spell. And I think I'm going to wait one more turn before I start attacking these. Um, because I don't think I can kill any of them with this with this current army. I have to be really careful with my cheetah as well, actually. Uh, just because I don't want any anything to die right there. Um... The question becomes, do I accept this or do I declare war on them? I think I want to accept this just for my, uh, uh, just for my race relation with them. And then I'm going to start exploring around here to see what is, what we can actually do with this city. Uh, the other city I'm probably just going to declare war on, uh, because I don't care about, about this city right here. And I might just go over here next. So I might just head through this mountain into this magic library. Maybe even that. I don't think so though. This is quite well defended. Uh, probably good. It's probably going to be more this uh, watchtower first, um, and then just start uh, uh, taking this out and start growing as as fast as possible. Also going to get some Grimby crows because I definitely want some scout units for myself. Um, currently we have not scouted anything down here and. I think between turn 4 and uh, 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 6, this thing is going to start spawning stuff as well. So we kind of need to be aware of that for sure. Okay. Can't even make scoundrels yet, so there's no point in, in getting this upgrade. Um, so I think for now I'm going to do treasure raiding, uh, just to have something going. I don't see anything that's really particularly good at this point. Um, so yeah, let's continue like this, very likely victory, we'll see about that. I hope that they're not going to come to me, but yeah, I was afraid of that. So this Mystic is going to be uh, really important for me to deal damage to them. Um, as you can see, this already deals a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, and this actually as well. So I kind of want my Cheetah to be taking the brunt of the damage. Do you have... No, you don't have anything of particular importance. And you guys I'm just gonna keep here as more of a buffer for me so you got you can attack this guy you can attack this guy and you are probably gonna attack one of these guys probably this probably mystic actually um, because of that maybe I should put the the uh, saber tooth chariot in front uh, because I want the mystic to be dealing uh, um, um, to be have uh, uh, to use that as a as a ranged uh, attacker. Yeah, I think this should be fine. Now these two can't can't attack just yet, uh, but I can deal with with these units already. So I really need to be careful with my chariot here. Um, but my units should do a should do a lot more damage in this 
uh, uh, with this uh, setup. Let's see, acid dart should also deal a lot of damage. Yep, it does. That is pretty decent. And once I disengage uh, um, uh, this chariot, he can throw a sun spear at this phantasm warrior and then deal with it like that. You can just kill that. You can move back once and kill that thing. So, so far this is all going pretty nicely. Let's see, can we curse something? That's unfortunate. I kind of wanted them to, to uh, um, I kind of wanted to, to get some, some movement being taken away. Because now they can still attack this, this uh, saber tooth chariot, which I don't really like. Um, so I'm going to put my uh, thingy right here. Yeah, they can't kill that. They can deal a lot of damage to, to my cheetah, but well, they might actually be able to kill it as well. Oof. Can you kill this? No, you can't. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Not really. Hmm. Am I going to sacrifice my cheetah by standing here? I think I might, eh? So they can't kill my leader anyway. So I'm gonna put my phantasm, my 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 sun guard right here. That way it protects this uh, this necromancer hero, and I can still attack then with my other uh, guy. So I'm go I think this should be all right. Yeah. Okay. That's completely fine. That is completely fine for me. So. Um, now the question becomes what to do, what to do. So the thing I definitely want to do is I want to attack this thing once to get, uh, um, to get access to my uh, uh, hero over here. I don't want to attack him twice necessarily. Okay, just once I can move this guy back. And then start shooting, start shooting at him with some black bolts. Let's see, you. I am going to attack once as well. Then I'm going to move you away. Attack you. With some of that, and then shoot at you with that. Good stuff. So again, we took a little bit of damage, but I don't think it matters too much just yet we did get 24 gold here that's pretty sick already and a lot of knowledge so treasure rating has already been researched that's nice uh, let's upgrade poison mastery that's a big that's a big boost to my damage output and I can just move around this mountain and maybe I can take out the lost library, but that's already a tall task for this for this group. I, before we start doing that, I think we need to get a few more levels. Uh, I would like to have this uh, watchtower though, uh, so I'm gonna try to get that whenever possible. Okay. So this vault of uh, this vault of knowledge is actually quite nice for us as well. Oh, okay. There's an entrance right there. Yeah, I might just go down. Uh, we also have night vision, so our vision range and underground is pretty decent as well. Uh, let's see. I did see that we have some 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 mana up here, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh, uh, take a peek down here as well um, to to get to grab this and then go back under underground. I think. I think that's gonna be the idea. A draconian city. Yeah, I'm going to decline that, and I'm also just going to declare war on you already. Um, just because I don't like you. I'm going to move around them a little bit carefully, because I don't want my, my thing to get attacked. It's very unlikely that they're going to get attacked outside of their city walls, but I just want to make sure. 
Um, so this thing is gonna start spawning stuff soon. So we kind of also need to get get something for that. Okay, build this hall is finished. I might just want to start producing a few sun guards. Just to deal with uh, uh, eventual invasions here. Shredders maybe as well. Hmm. Oh, so we did. So we did uh, um, get a little bit of extra bonus income. Um, so we cannot produce the storehouse in two turns. But yeah, again, I think I, I do want to get this. Like I do want to get some more some more defense right there for my city, just because we have the scoundrel these scoundrels over here. And in the meantime, I'm just going to summon the Grimby Crows right there. Um, and I'm going to start. Did I already get treasure rating? Yeah, I think I already did, eh? No, I didn't. So in that case, I'm going to get treasure rating next. Um, you can move down here. Oh, more gold. That's always nice. And next turn, we can use these haste berries to move around even quicker. You can stay there. You can go onto this mana thingy. Okay, some a trading post. Over here is a spring of life. That could potentially be pretty nice. Hmm. But the city would be would be right over here. That would be really nice. Uh, this is out of range, I think. I'm pretty sure actually. One, two, so we have nine nine spaces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, not even close. So these two are, are completely out of range, um, which means that they are inaccessible to us, unfortunately. Um, we're a little bit too low to to start dealing with the magic with the lost library. I should have maybe looked what's in there, um, but I think we can take these these dwarves on and get a little bit of vision for ourselves. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with my saber tooth chariot here uh, because it's already pretty banked up. But I think we should be able to deal with this, no problem. So you need to be a little bit careful, you need to be a little bit careful, and then you. And you need to start tanking. You are gonna throw a curse. Add one of them, which is probably going to be you. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes. Let's see. How are we going to fix this? So we can kill that, no problem. They do have blight protection. Oh my goodness, those those dwarves are tanky. My goodness, those tank those dwarves and those dwarves are tanky as fuck. So we do have quick dash, which is a heal. And we can give something a moving target, but I think I would rather just take out something. 7 to 11, 8 to 11. So this does more damage. And our blight protection is something else, eh? Hmm. So I think the deep guard here is the is the thing that troubles me the most. Uh, I'm probably just gonna pounce on that and just stay in defense mode. So this thing we can take care of, no problem, right? Hmm. So I'm just trying to figure out a way for me to to get this done. Um, hmm. 
that can then involves me getting rid of this deep card as well. I don't think I can though. Um, I've already used up my curse. Oh, I can do this. And now I can raise a cadaver. Attack the deep card once to get rid of some movement. And that way I can actually... Um, that way I can move over here with these guys because so the deep guard has first strike which means that he attacked my cadaver twice already which now means that I am free to do whatever I want with my cheetah and what they're gonna do is probably pounce on something not sure what yet So with these, I'm going to turn this thing around. Then I'm going to attack this thing from behind. Maybe I'll kill it even. Okay, well, that, that makes our, our life a whole lot easier. Um, so then I can attack from this angle right here. Oh, shh. Shoot. Okay, well, that, that didn't go as planned, but sure, I guess. Uh, yeah, that did really... I mean, I'm going to lose my leader here, most likely. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, good, 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 good. I can just take uh, 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 take the last of their movement with my sun guard. Oh my goodness, that was so, so close. I shouldn't have moved uh, uh, down here. Uh, that was definitely a mistake. Um... Let's see, I can throw another curse at them. I don't think that gives any extra XP though. Uh, can I, I can quick dash something for some experience. Let's see, if I quick dash you, you can still do stuff, eh? Yeah. You've already leveled, I think. You've also already leveled. You have not. But you are already, okay, you can still level. Good, then I'm gonna try and give you some experience. So I should utilize quick dash a little bit more in my in my fights, I think. Um, I, ooh, okay. Necromantic circle. Okay, before we go to go and take the city, I think we are gonna deal with this straight away. I don't think I can I can wait with that. Uh, let's see. Crippling wounds is nice. Undead slayer is really good for the for the upcoming combat. Um, I think I might just get that just because of the combat that we're going to face. Crippling Wounds is nice. Don't need that. Don't necessarily need that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get Undead Slayer and Crippling Wounds. Crippling Wounds is always... I like CC. Uh, CC is always such a nice way to deal with enemies and what they can just limiting what they can do so let's see are we seeing independence roaming around not yet doesn't mean that they're not there but at least uh, uh how far can we still move yeah we can still move a lot okay we still don't see them we can take up some some refugees right here i might start doing that in 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 future turns. I think I'm going to cancel this and I'm instead going to start producing a siege workshops to get my shredders out in one turn. I think that's better. You can go underground again. Okay. Okay, lots of things there. Okay, some stuff here that we don't know. Let's see how much movement do I still have? Yeah, eight. Good. I can start heading over here. This should be a dwelling of some sorts. Yep. Uh, prepare to be destroyed. I am still evil, so I want to get evil points as soon as possible. 
and with you guys I'm gonna start heading over here so I'm gonna be very careful again with my uh, um, saber tooth chariot I'm probably also gonna uh, a quick dash him a few times I might have to be very careful with my mana though because the upkeep is quite steep uh, on on my on my spells so this draconian reanimator and the, especially the wraith is going to be a, an issue i think we have some fire damage but not a lot we don't have a lot of spirit damage so i want to get this guy this thing out of range and these guys as well because they, it has uh, what is a brain rot which is an ability that uh, uh, reduces your casting points. And that is not Nash. Well, we have fire and spirit right here. What am I saying? Um, I'm gonna plump. I'm gonna put you right, right up there, and then start handing out quick dashes. I think. Nah, I'm not using it for the movement, obviously, but rather for the uh, for just for the healing. It's the only real healing ability that I have. So, fire and spirit weakness. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see how we're going to deal with these things. Okay, well, that, that makes it a whole lot easier. I'm going to get this out of the way. Let's see. I'm going to get this guy to pounce on that thing. Okay, so that doesn't matter at all. Um, the difference between those attacks is basically non-existent. And I think we might even be able to kill already. Um, so I'm gonna try to, well, that's nice. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna charge in here. Okay, we did take some damage, but not too much. I think we should be able to kill. Good stuff. <laughs> Some despair on ourselves, but uh, I think all, all heroes have uh, fast healing anyway, so that is not a problem for us. That is a pretty decent item. Uh, so this is this is an art guard breaker item. So now we also have uh, a, an item that gives us the guard breaker ability. Again, I don't think I can take this. Um, our, our our units are just too low at this point. I rather just want to get to the uh, city right there. Um, let's get inflict the spare. Maybe treasure rating is actually not that great right here because it costs ten per turn. Or I can just get a shrine in between. I think I think this works as well. I think we should be well enough defended with the Grimby Crow that we have currently and with the Shredder that we're producing um, from these from these units right here. Um, tell me about that quest. Oh, that would be nice. Am I gonna get over there again in time? So the only thing I want to do here is take the city and then head back over here. But in that meantime, I can't I can't make the city my vassal. So I think what I would rather do is just decline this quest and now pay for them to be my to become my vassal. I think that's going to be better. Let me know when you're ready to talk. You produce a shredder. That's nice. Race governance went up, and. I think I'm going to go for this one. Settlers are cheaper. I don't think I'm going to... No, I'm going to get plus 7 on the Sabertooth Chariots and Sun Guards. So Sun Guards and Sabertooth Chariots are, are units that I do want to make. Um, 
So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be real useful for me. Hmm. I'm not sure whether whether I should cast this already. I don't think so. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep keep uh, um, this thing over here and then uh, just start looking around for 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 stuff underground and start looking uh, for for more mana somewhere. Okay, there's a haunted boneyard right there, and another haysberries. Heart of the blight. Not bad, not bad. So I don't want to go too far south because I don't want to encounter the enemy just yet. Um, I don't necessarily like to uh, encounter the enemy too early because it's uh, that means that they can also just junk my global spells once I start having those. So yeah, I just wanna uh, uh, play it slow and try not to, 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 to scout too much south, I guess. I would like to scout more, more east uh, though. Poison Mastery has been researched, that's nice. Black Lightning, Iron Grip. Mm. All of these are not the greatest. Um, let's uh, try and produce the Scoundrel. Um, and then let's see, what do we have in here? Oh, that's That should be very, very easy. I, my Sabretooth Chariot has the most movement, so I'm going to use him. And I might even start uh, clearing that, that mana node up there uh, afterwards. So yeah, this Flamer has to go ASAP. That is for certain. Unfortunately, I wanted to again. I wanted to to get. Um, I wanted to re, re, uh, reduce the the movement points there of the flamer. And move this forward. This forward. He's probably just gonna attack my my necromancer hero here, so I don't need to worry too much about my uh, my other units. And yeah, right here. Maybe he's gonna attack this this thing now just because he can get a double attack on on that. No he cannot. Let's see, what can we do here? So I'm gonna give my my hero a quick dash here. And then start attacking twice more. And we kill that way. Yeah, these units can't get on the wall, so I just have to be a little bit more creative with how I want to approach this uh, this hatchling right there. Oh, well, that... <laughs> well, that was not nice, my friend. That was also not nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't heal myself with the um, uh, with the heal undead ability because I'm not an undead. Um, in my pre previous playthrough, I played a um, a uh, frostling necromancer, so I have quite a bit of experience with playing as a as a necro. Let's do something like that. He's just gonna attack the, um, the what's it called there? Let's see. Do I want to level you? I think I do. Let's do that. I don't think you got some. You took damage, but let's just. Actually, no. Let's just start. Let us just keep on leveling my my leader 
I think in the end that's always a good thing if your leader is leveled. Okay. So we got this city. We're gonna migrate it to Tigrants. And unfortunately I can't move back this turn. But I can probably take out this structure right here. Yeah, I think I should be able to. Even though our, our things are... Oh, um, I forgot about this, but we just have to manage who we attack pretty well. Uh, so you can go over here. So I'm going to plop you down right there with you right in the back. I'm going to curse you. Very nice. That is exactly what I wanted. So I wanted to, to the curse to fail. And now I'm going to uh, uh, rotate all of my guys over here. So far away from this guy. Um, just so I have more time to, to kill off the other two units here. Right here, I'm just going to move back. Uh, there's no point in me, in me attacking just yet. So I think this should be fine. I think this is also fine, yeah. So I just want to take my time here. Oh, okay, they're gonna die. Oh no. Okay, well, okay, well. Well, you guys are fucked. That's nice. Let's start killing this thing. And. Oof. Well. Let's kill that and now kill that. And you can get out of there. Good. Now this thing should start attacking that. Or it doesn't attack at all, which is also fine for me. Because now I can just start blasting it. Good stuff. So both of them leveled. And I get a little bit of mana, which is which is the only reason why I did this uh, this fight in the first place. Is to get that mana. I don't need that. Hmm. I think I'm just going to get some, some hit points on this. Um... Defense we already got. Do you have some weaknesses? No, we don't. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. And you are going to get... Well, poison resist. So I, I really like this, this type of buff. Uh, where we get resistances. Um, because I think it really helps in every single scenario. So... This might this I also really like this actually armor piercing is also really really nice. Um, let's see what are we gonna fight soon? We are gonna fight this. You are not armored. You don't have any poison damage. You don't have poison damage at all. No, it's just all fire damage. So there's no. There's nothing here that saves me from fire damage, but I do have... Oh, the Vouch Slayer doesn't help me. Projectile resistance might be nice on this guy. I quite like Sprint, always. Armor piercing we can get from, from uh, Stronger Than Steel. So for this one, I'm just going to get projectile resistance and make it more into like a, a tanky character. At least a little bit more. So down here, we can just continue our quest for to see whatever is underground. Castle of the Lich King. Okay. Ooh, okay. Another spawner right there. And another city. 
Uh, yeah, decline. We are just going to be evil. Let's move back a little bit again. Nice that we have another city right here because uh, if I uh, if I go back for this, then I might just go down here as well. Okay, since we found a little bit of uh, of uh, of mana over here, I'm gonna start casting this already. Because I think we can deal with the minus 12 for like one turn. Uh, it's it's going to go down to minus 2. Yep, yeah, we produced a shrine. We knew that. And let's head over this mountain right there. Our units definitely need a little bit of healing. And... As mentioned before, currently we have none. Man, these mountains are just so annoying. They're so bad for... for they really cut off this city from, from that city. That is really, really unfortunate. Um, yeah, I think we are going to be fine like that. Oh, there's another spawner down here. Okay, and another city down here as well. A big city. This this thing has gone into a town. That's nice. Uh, some more gold income for us from this from this thing right there. What I like the most about it though is that we have and that we got some more um, some more vision range. I I really I really like vision range in this uh, in this type of games. Um, Poison Mastery, yeah, I really want to cast that, but I just don't have the mana for it currently. So I would rather get a Grimby Crow. Mm, that's also 9 per turn. That's 9 per turn, that's so much. Wowza. So we really want this city to join us soon. Let's see if we can make that happen. I really hope that this thing is not going to get taken out by these independents. They should have definitely spawned. So, okay, we are we just became slightly evil. That's nice. So our base happiness is plus one hundred because of that. Very good. Good, 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 good. Draconians are unhappy. I can deal with that. And this city has finished uh, uh, migrating. So, what do we want to produce here? We already have a pretty decent uh, uh, population growth going because the uh, uh, storehouse has already been produced. So, let's see. Just a builder's hall. Yeah, I think we just produce a builder's hall or maybe just a shrine, just straight up shrine. I think that's fine as well. And that, that makes uh, uh, us get closer to uh, being able to cast Poison Mastery as well. So I was thinking that we could just move over here. But what if we just head down here actually? And start utilizing these haste berries to, to our advantage. There's also some gold here still that uh, our, flying, our flying scouts can get. Uh, we want to do No Mercy. This is nice and easy experience I think I think they might have some I, I think they might still have a charge bonus so they, they are still quite tough uh, do you have charge yes you do um, let's see where can you guys go you are this this saber tooth chariot is quite tanky so maybe I'm just gonna use him as a frontliner and then use the rest as the back line yeah i would like to get him uh around this area the the uh sun guard so he can protect the flanks a little bit um can i curse something already yes i can and i can i'm gonna curse the one on the outside just so he can't uh just so he can't flank me from from this angle right there that is completely fine with me. Uh, 
let's see. I'm going to pounce on you. I'm going to put you right there. Get you to kill that thing. And now this. You have fire protection. So that is more damage. And then I'm going to kill you with my... I'm maybe going to kill you with my guy. No, I'm going to kill you. Good. Yeah, I think you can kill... Mm. Yeah, you're probably going to... Just... Oh, I should have used my... I should have moved my, my Saber Tooth Chariot. That was a mistake. So I, I should have moved my Saber Tooth Chariot over here. Uh, just to protect this exact scenario from, from occurring. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack you twice. And then finish you off gonna make a cadaver this is just for for experience sake I don't know if this is I don't know if you can get experience from from doing this and I don't actually want to kill uh, but I want to kill with you good stuff we got a cadaver and possibly a work but I don't well I unfortunately I can't I can't see what the work does exactly. Um, I do want another scout, so I'm gonna take this. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here I think with my worgy work. And yeah, you can just go away straight away. you guys i'm gonna move over here get rid of this ancient ruins yeah man we really need a healer that's that's one thing that's for certain hello there another one another dwelling i think oh city oh that's a big city that's a really big city already we might just head there head there pretty early on actually and just start taking that. Having an orc city there is is actually quite nice. Hmm. Okay, so you're producing the siege workshop. That's okay. Afterwards, I definitely want the storehouse. Is there anything else I want? So these things are going to come into my domain at some point. Yeah, I think I just want to head down here, uh, uh, down here first with, with this group. Uh, there's some more haste barriers down there. And then I want to take this, this city. And afterwards, I might already want to take uh, um, the orc city down here. Let's, let's see if that works. I'm going to turn here. And I think uh, I'm just going to play... Uh, this turn and then uh, uh, call it a day already it's been about an hour let's see no independence from here okay hero offer theocrat let's go Ragnar the crusader good good holy champion and you already have bestow iron heart as well let's go i think i might kick out the necromancer in that case and have him have his own army pretty soon um ooh. yeah we can't kill that <laughs> there's no way we can kill that these ogre these these trolls are just so so powerful with a regrowth and guard breaker ability there is absolutely no way we can kill that Okay, since that is the case, I might just get my Grimby Crows to now start doing uh, uh, some exploring for me. Uh, I'm going to send these guys over here to the east. Yeah, you can just stay like that. Get some HP or something. Produce Bard.
Let's get another cloak and dagger. And you go into the city. Oh, another city here. Oh, another Naga dwelling. Uh, prepare to be destroyed. Again, evil. So, kinda my thing. Hmm. I don't think this thing will survive uh, for very long here. And you, I can go up here and then start heading over here. So now we have two scouts in this area that can uh, uh, start uh, uh, looking for, for stuff for us. Okay, that is fine. And how many turns? Six. So in that case, I think I'm already gonna start uh, uh, getting poison mastery. It's, it's gonna take away a little bit of mana and this is going to cost 20 per turn? Yeah, 20 per turn. But it's only going to be 3 more turns until it's until it's only 10 per turn. So, yeah, we we'll I think we're going to be fine on mana on that on that front. Yeah, I think I'm just going to going to end the episode here. Uh, uh, we almost have our first uh, city under our control. There's some uh, uh, some some golds things that we can still get we are uh, um, uh, we almost have this vassal city under under control as well and yeah I think this is a pretty decent start especially for having no healers I I, I cannot understand how, 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 how much of an impact that that has in my opinion um, getting a theocrat or a uh, or a archdruid out early that makes such a big difference even a dreadnought with the, uh, I think forge aprons or whatever it is, the the ten health per turn, that already makes such a big difference to to how fast, how many battles he can go into, and how many, uh, how fast you can start expanding and really start ramping up your forces. Uh, for now, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this type of content, then give me a, a like and subscribe on uh, the YouTube's, and thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.